Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Can we give the Lord the best clap offering again? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 God is really good. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is moving in our midst at this very moment. And truly God is in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. By the way, if you have your Bible, please turn with me one more time in the book of John, chapter 7. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read right away my text this morning. Bef before we're going further, hallelujah. Starting from verse 37 to 39, if you have your Bible, follow along. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name upon reading his word this morning. Hallelujah. My prayer, of course, every, every leader of a congregation, I believe also Pastor Mar's prayer, that this morning our hearts will be moved towards God. Amen that our hearts will be turned towards God, that our lives will flow into the river of the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. There's always amazing when God's people are gathered together and they set their hearts to worship God. You know, in the Old Testament, the name of Jesus is, is translated as Shiloh. As always, have said, I always told you many, many times in Genesis chapter 49 in the 10th verse, saying when, when, when Jacob was praying and releasing the blessing upon his children, when he comes to Judah, he said unto Judah, O Judah, the scepter shall not dis depart from Judah, neither a lawgiver from between from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall be the gathering of the people be. Hallelujah, he said, when Shiloh come, the people will be gathered unto him. And there's all of the translator, all of the what I call theologians are translated in the original Greek, original Hebrew, I should say, translated this verse of Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. He said, Shiloh is always translated unto Jesus. Amen. Shiloh is always translated unto Jesus. When Judah, the only, it, it will only stop the authority, will, 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 will always, will always be with Judah until Shiloh come. And unto Shiloh shall the gathering of the people be. Oh, there is wonderful thing going on. There is something wonderful going on when all of God's people are gathered in Jesus. Amen. There's one thing, there's something wonderful as we have just experienced a moment ago. Hallelujah, brother, brother Abe. Thank you. Thank you, brother Abe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a wind from the throne room of God Almighty. When people's hearts are gathered in the name of Jesus, hungry for the presence of God Almighty, the Holy Ghost will always come. And there's that sweetness, brother. There's that sweetness. There's that joy that is released from the throne room of God Almighty. Amen. Because... Shiloh is in this place. Aren't you glad Jesus is in this place? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for gathering us in this place. Truly, Lord, we rejoice in our hearts when we come in this place, knowing indeed that you are, Lord, in this place. We consider this ground, Lord, is a holy ground because indeed your presence is in this place. We recognize, Lord, your holiness, Lord, in our midst. We recognize, Lord, your awesomeness in our midst. Father, we thank you so much for the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you have outpoured upon us, that you have given unto us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you continue, Lord, to turn our hearts, Lord. Turn and move our hearts towards you, O God, towards your work, towards your plan, towards your purpose, O God. Lord, as I'm speaking your word, Lord, today I pray for the Spirit, Lord, to continue to flow from within our hearts this morning. I pray that you cover me with your blood and hide me behind your cross because we want Jesus in this place. Be glorified and exalted in our midst. We want Jesus be king, Lord, in our, in, in our midst, oh God. We want Jesus be Lord in our midst. In Jesus' name, let your anointing fall, Lord, and upon us all. Those, Lord, who are listening on, uh, online, Lord, who are watching online, and those who, who are here in the sanctuary, oh God, and your anointing upon me, Lord, for your purpose, Lord, will be made known, and your glory will be revealed in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, all the singers here were brother, led by Brother Joss. I'm so glad. I like that first song, though. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing that song every morning. You know, memorize that song and sing it every morning. Hallelujah. You will be, you will praising God every morning and then on at the same time, also, you'll be learning voice lesson. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praising, you cannot beat that. You, you sing that song every morning. And, you, and also, at the same time, you learn voice lesson. Before you know it, you're a good praise and worship singer with one audience. And that audience is only Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> praise God. And I love that that's, it's always our desire in this congregation that every person will be, will experience the presence of the Holy Ghost. I like that, that last song also. It's, it must always be, as a child of God, it must always be a cry of our soul that we will experience the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And this morning I'm going to tell you, those of you who were not here last time, Hallelujah. My title of the message is the rivers of the Holy Spirit flowing within your life. Amen. When you have the river of the Holy Ghost, you don't need your mom to awake you in, on Sundays because there's joy unspeakable within you. You don't need to be called Saturday, Saturday evening to, to, to be called by your friend to come to church because... If, you, if, you, if, if the river is flowing within your soul, amen, you come to church not on time, but you come to church 30 minutes like Brother uh, James and Brother, uh, Brother uh, Jacob, they come to church. Hallelujah, come to church 30 minutes before Sunday and they're already here. I'm trying to beat them, but you know, they, they always come ahead. Praise God. Because there's, there's unlimited joy that the Holy Ghost, when the river of God flows within your life, there's unlimited joy will be deposited in your soul and in your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, this instrument, how many of you this morning wants to be a worship member? Amen. Amen. Can you, can you, can you, can you raise your hand? Uh, we want more worship. We we want more worship members in our worship team. Praise God. But you know what? There's how many of you in this in this room wants to be? If you are a musical instrument, how, how many you, how many of you in this room wants to be a microphone? I mean, probably some of you don't want it. Maybe those who have loud voice. Or don't do who can speak loud, they want microphone. How many of you want to be a guitar? Amen. Amen. I've never 
I, I, I never played the guitar quite a while. I used to play it every night. Hallelujah. How many of you wants to be a drum drummer? Brother, Brother uh, Jaime is a drummer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. All of this, all of this instrument, like, especially the organ, the piano, and the microphone, and the bass, and uh, of course the worship leaders, the singers in this in this in this uh, platform. Hallelujah! Everybody in this room are all significant. Amen. But they are only significant, and they are only useful for one reason. Amen. You stand here like, how many of you want to be a preacher also with, with a microphone? Amen. Hallelujah. Don't know this microphone is not significant unless it is connected to that bass. Connected to that amplifier. Connected to that. And that amplifier is not significant. It is not useful unless it is connected to the source of power. Amen. Hallelujah. All of this musical instrument will bring out wonderful melodies and wonderful songs of praise and worship. But the, this mus musical instrument are useless and are insignificant unless they are connected to the electrical power somewhere. Amen. Because the electri electricity will bring its usefulness, will bring the wonderful sound, will make it alive. Amen. And make it useful. It must be, it must be plugged into that source of power. Glory. Sister, where is Sister Millet? Sister Millet, I like Sister Millet and Pastor Ani. They're, they're good, they're good bread makers, you know. Hallelujah. Can I stay here? I think, is it okay? Can I stay here? I'm just, I miss going here. You know, it's too, it's, 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 it's too high over there. I want to be higher, taller than everybody. Hallelujah. Where is Sister Millet and Sister Pastor Ani? Pastor, they make bread. Amen. Hallelujah, they make bread. They make pandesal, wonderful pandesal. And with most of us in this room enjoyed what they had done. How, where's Pastor Mar? Pastor Mar, uh, I, lo I love his, uh, what's that, that, that uh, malagkit? I mean, Biko, I like, I like Pastor Mar's Biko. All of those, you know, those of you who are making pandesal, you know your ingredients. I mean, how many of you want to be, want to be a sugar? Amen. Amen. How many want to be a, what's, what's the ingredients for pandesal or flour, flour egg? <laughs> Amen. Yeast. Hallelujah. Don't you know that all of these ingredients are, are useful for one thing? Provided. Amen. If they are provided and prepared and all of this, all of this, these uh, ingredients to make a good pandesal and bring, f bring forth good cook and you, you put it in, in, a, in a hot coffee early in the morning. <laughs> um, but you cannot, I can just imagine Sister Millet making pandesal without water to mix everybody, everything. Amen? Ang labas nun? Anong labas nun? Kung walang tubig, amen. Kung magtimpla ka ng pandesal, anong labas noon? Pulburon. Amen? <laughs> Whether you like to form it as you want to form a pandesal or a pandicoco or a, what I call that, a, uh, a enseimada or Pastor Mar, uh, Pastor Mar's biko. He wants, he wants to make a very good biko. Sister Vernie always requests Pastor Mar for a Christmas gift, a big, a big Christmas gift on Christmas time. But Pastor Mar can never make a big unless there's water on it. I can just imagine Sister Miller trying to form a pandesal or Pastor Ali. They make a pandesal without water. Amen. Anong labas nun? Amen. 
Wala, pulburon. <laughs> pulburon. Ano yun? Pul -pul pulburon? Oh, <laughs> sister, sister, I will making pulburon. Hallelujah. These are very significant significant ingredients to bring something wonderful if you are a cake maker or a bread maker. Water. If you are a musician, hallelujah, if you are a musician, you need to be, you need electricity. Amen. So that all your instruments will be significant and useful and you can bring good songs and music. Hallelujah. What are you, what, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm speaking about the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. You don't just know how blessed you are. Don't you know that probably some of you, the most blessed person in, in the world is Bill Gates or what's the, the richest person now? Uh, the Tesla, tes, Tesla guy? Yeah, Elon, Elon Musk. Probably some of you or most of you in this room, probably Elon Musk is the most blessed person in the world. But I respectfully disagree. You know why? The most blessed person is the person who had received Jesus Christ seated behind you, uh, beside you. Amen. That's, he is the most per blessed person. You know why? Probably some of you is, is talking about. Hallelujah. In the scripture, there's only one guy who had said, the, 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 wh whose name plays the word blessed before his name or after his name. His, his name is Abraham. They title it the blessing. The scripture in the New Testament, the scripture is speaking of the blessing of Abraham. Amen. The blessing of Abraham. How many, how many of you in this room want to be blessed? And more blessed. And more blessed. How many of you want to receive the blessing of Abraham? Amen. How many of you know how many of you in this room know the blessing of Abraham? Amen. There are two great blessings. That's why I said to all of us this morning that we are the most blessed person in the world. Because, you know why? Because we have the blessing of Abraham. God had promised to Abraham. God had sworn. The, the, the Old Testament said in, in Genesis chapter 22 and verse 17. You can read that. Amen. If you can put that, Brother Abe, you can, you can put that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 16, verse 16 said, I have sworn into myself. God said. Amen. I mean, when, when somebody make an oath unto himself, he said unto Abraham, in blessing I will bless, because you have done this, because you have given your only son unto me as an offering of worship, I have sworn, I have made an oath unto myself that he said, in blessing I will bless you, in multiplying I will multiply you. And the rest of that verse, verse 16 and 7 it said, look at the stars above, they, 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 it shall be, the, it will be the, the, the number of your descendants. Look at the sons in the seashores, they will be your descendants. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God had promised blessing that is beyond measure. That is, that is, there's no, there's no intellectual that can describe how this blessing will take place when it was given unto Abraham. This morning, I would like to announce to all of you, you should be happy, amen. You have be happy to come to church. You have be joyful to come to church. You know why you have, you are the most blessed person. When you wake up in the morning, yay, I'm going to church. Hallelujah, I'm the most blessed person in the world. Thank God. You know why? You have the blessing of Abraham. Two great blessings that the world cannot give. Two great blessings that even your bank cannot give. You know that blessing, number one, is what we call the justification by faith. 
Hallelujah. And number two is what I call the indwelling, indwelling, baptizing, and guiding power of the blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. You cannot beat that, brother. There's nothing, there's no million dollar or billion dollar that can buy that. And the only people who had that greatest blessing in life is those who received Christ. Hallelujah. Justification by faith. Romans 4 and the third verse. Jesus said, because you have believed, you have believed me, it is accounted unto Abraham as righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And number two, the indwelling and baptizing and the guiding presence of the blessed Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Galatians 3, 13 and 14 and 15 said that Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law. For the scripture had said, curse is anyone that is hung it in it on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Do you know who is that Gentile? It, it's someone who is sitting beside you. That the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles through faith in Christ. And receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. Thank you Lord. If you receive the promise of the Holy Spirit, you're the, one of the, well, you're the most blessed person. Because if you, you're going to work, hallelujah, anybody who is carrying the presence of God Almighty, carrying God's favor, remember that, amen? Prob probably some of you in this room just, 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 uh, just belitt belittle that statement, amen? Hallelujah. I, re I repeat it again. Those of you who is carrying the power of the Holy Ghost is carrying God's favor. That's why. It's not just, it's not just because of your job. Amen. Because now you, you, you have an open heaven. Because you're carrying the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. At the same time, brother, you have that the world don't have. You have that Elon Musk don't have. Elon Musk, for example, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, he has billions, but he has no peace. He had billions, billions of dollars, but he had no joy. He had billions of dollars, but he had no righteousness. Hallelujah, but my, my Bible declares, if you have said, if you, if you find it in your word, if you're following along. My Bible declares that the kingdom of God is not eating nor drinking. Amen. How many of you know you want to be included into the kingdom of God? Thank you, Lord. The kingdom of God is not eating nor drinking, but number one, righteousness. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Number one, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. You can never beat that. Amen. And you cannot buy that in the store. Even your, your wealthy, wealthy employer cannot give that. But the Bible says only Jesus can give that. Hallelujah. In our text, I would like to make an emphasis in this today, brothers and sisters. In our text, in verse 37 of John, it says here, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Hallelujah. Brother, you cannot, you cannot, get, you cannot get peace. You cannot get righteousness. You cannot get joy even from your employer. Amen. But what, are, what does the Bible say? Jesus said, those who are thirsty. What is the Bible said? Let him come to me and drink. 
Jesus is saying to all of us, he's offering us boundless, boundless amount of wealth. It's heavenly wealth. Far greater than the earthly wealth, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. But he said, those who are thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Hallelujah. It's only through Jesus Christ. It's only through Shiloh. Amen. Hallelujah that you can have. You know, you, this time, this, this, this dispensation, we are getting closer and closer to the climax. Uh, if you, you realize that, brother and sister, we need an overflowing strength of, that is coming from the throne room of God that is, that is, that is, that is placed upon your soul. You need to be strong in these last days. Because who knows what tomorrow will bring? Who knows what next month will bring? I mean, there would be another, what you call, hundred times like COVID-19 that will take, be taking place. Then the only hope we have is what you call the presence of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Flowing freely within your soul and within your heart that Christ is offering this morning. He said, those who are thirsty, let him Come and drink, as the scripture had said. Rivers of living will flow into their belly. Oh, I, 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 I sense that even when we start to sing this morning. Hallelujah, that the river, if you are, if you don't feel good this morning, come to Jesus. He's here. He's ready to have that, what they call, that, that what they call heavenly bucket. He's about to pour upon you a river. Hallow river, hallow there will never be running out a river from the throne room of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, I like that. Thank you, Lord. Part of my testimony, brother, is if I was probably, maybe I'm second to Pastor Maro, is very religious in this room. Amen. Salutatorian, you know. Very religious. I'm so religious. Hallelujah. But one day something taken place. It was in January 7, 1986. Thank you, Lord. Moving from my old apartment as a student. In my new apartment, my first day, my first hour, went inside, sit down, and sat. I, I, I sat to a, a, a paralyzed man. I was sitting with him, paralyzed man. And... <laughs> He knows I introduced myself, I'm, I'm going to Divine Word College, and he knows I'm going to a uh, Roman Catholic college. And you know, the first thing he opened, he opened his Bible. And you know where, do you know where he opened it? He opened it in Isaiah 44. <laughs> he opened it in Isaiah 44. He knows that I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to Mass on Wednesday, I'm going to Mass on Friday, I'm going to Mass on Sunday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And he knows that I'm going there. And what happened? I was so angry. I was so angry. There's what I call religious rage just flowing, just boiling within, me, within my soul. And I, 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 I wish, I wish I can, I can hit him, you know. But I'm just having pity because he was, uh, he was a paralyzed guy. How could you hit a paralyzed guy? And, but, but anyway, he was sharing unto me the truth of God's word. He was sharing Isaiah 44. If you don't know that, read it. The this, this story of what they call the abomination of graven images. Story. Somebody cut a tree. Bring it home. Make a fire out of it. He cooked pork chop, and he ate. Amen. Then somebody probably make a table. Make, and the Bible says, and the rest of it, he make, he make, he formed it like a man, like a like a god, and he bowed and he said, "Save me." And produced fire also the rest of it. He read that whole. Verse starting from verse 8 to 30, 38th verse of Isaiah 4. I was so mad. I was, I was so angry. Hallelujah. But in moments time, somebody coming. 
knocking the door. And little did I know that that's, that, that day, it was Tuesday, that's the schedule of their Bible study. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, they come to, to a Bible study. And when they entered on that room, you know, my, my, my heart is boiling, you know, it's pumping. Because I was so angry with, with Brother Gabriel. And they started to sing. They sing. They sing. You know, in the old days, brothers and sisters, in our, in, in our church, we sing scripture songs. And the first song that they sang is, is Psalms 51 and verse 10. Created me a clean heart. A beautiful song. And I was started to touch. It was a, it was a beautiful song. I think the spirit is start beginning to touch me on that moment. And the next song they sang, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, he said, Behold what manner of God the Father has given unto us that we might be called sons of God. And the last song that they sang, they sing, you know, during those days, you know, when you have three songs, that's already equivalent to for 15 minutes, one song, plus 15 minutes, the second song, plus 15 minutes, the third song. <laughs> and then, and then, but brother, I still fresh, it's, all, it's almost more than four decades ago, but it's still fresh in my mind. When they get to the song, I love you, Lord, they sing it over and over again, all of their eyes close. Just, just play that guitar. I sang also. I just follow. When, when, when I hear it, sing it the third time, I already know it. I memorize it with them and sing and sing. As I open my mouth singing, all of the sudden, out of the blue, it's just like there's a bucket that was bucket of water that's outpoured upon my head down to my feet. Hallelujah. Then uh, I, I started to just cry and cry and cry. And before I knew it, the pastor stood after that song. I, I, I realized that my, my, my heart's pump has, has been calmed down. Amen. My heart's pump. I realized I don't have my rage. You know, in just an hour ago, I have that, they call it religious rage. You know, religious anger. And the pastor stood up. That first lesson I still remember. I'll never forget it. That is First John chapter, uh, First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen, and First Corinthians chapter six, verse nineteen and twenty. It's about the temple of the Holy Spirit, about the temple of God, that we are indeed a temple of the Holy Spirit and the temple of God. That means we are a dwelling place of the Holy Ghost of God Almighty. And the Bible says, "Those who, those who." Destroy it, God will also destroy it. Wonderful presence when the river flow, brothers and sisters. It's literally during those days, in hour and a half time, my religious rage was melted and was the Holy Spirit applying the blood of Christ in my soul. Jesus said, those who are thirsty, let them come to me and drink. Hallelujah. Brother, brother, Abe, think, you think I already forgot it, you know. Sometimes I forget to sing song, but every prayer, every prayer of our pastor and our prayer, Pastor Wells' prayer is that every member of this congregation, your heart will turn towards God. Your heart will turn towards the purpose of God. Your heart will turn towards the work of God. Your heart will be turned towards the ministry of God. And every single person in this room will flow in the river of the Holy Spirit. Brother, jo brother, brother, uh, Abe, can you play that song? We sing this in our group.
Yes, indeed, Lord, we need a river of your spirit within our hearts. Glory, 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 glory. I hope that's the cry of your soul this morning. That actually, that's the cry of my heart. You know, my wife always, oh, you, I play because I play that song. When I wake up in the morning, I play before I sleep. I play sometimes when I'm, I'm, I'm eating hot. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, because that's the cry of my soul. I don't know about you, but the rest of my years in this life, I want to bring honor. It's the purpose of the blessed Holy Spirit that's given unto us, as Jesus said, that the rivers of living water will flow in your heart so that our lives, the rest, the years that have remained in our lives in this life. As the song said, that my name will bring honor to the Lamb. And he deserved it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The river of the Spirit of God Almighty. I believe that all of us will never be the same again. Glory. You sense the Holy Ghost in your life, you'll never be the same again. Hallelujah. When the river flow in your heart, you'll never be the same again. You don't feel dry. Think that you have a million dollars in your pocket, but you don't have joy? What do you choose? Hallelujah. I'd rather have the Holy Ghost in my life. Amen. As Jesus said, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's giving you, just leaving you this. Yeah, my actually, didn't give my point yet, but I would like you to write this. Hallelujah. Yeah, write this, brothers and sisters. You know, if you long, if you're thirsty of the Holy Spirit, the life of God, the life of God, will be breathed upon your life. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit always breathes unto us the life of God. Amen. Your longing for life is in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You're looking for the true meaning of life is in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the bread of God is upon you. Thank you, Lord, of course, the life of God. When the life of God is upon you, the holiness of God becomes the central ingredients of your existence. Hallelujah. When the life of God flows upon us all, brothers and sisters, all of the sudden, what God values will be also our value. When the life of God flows upon us all of a sudden, this book will become a remand to all of us. It will become a life-giving, not just letters or not just papers, but it will literally become life-giving word into our lives because God's breath on us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. And the Holy Spirit is breathing into us. Hallelujah. When the river of the Holy Ghost flows upon us, it will always bring, of course, the power of God upon us. You'll never be powerless. Hallelujah. The pra prayer will is a dreaded moment. It will become what I call your loving moment. Praise and worship, some, of, some, so, some people said, why do you need to, get, to sing just over and over and over and over again the same phrase? Hallelujah. Yeah, because you love Jesus. Amen. How many of you, how many of you have, uh, had experience have a, uh, your, your, your old girlfriend? You know, you know, old girlfriend? Your old girlfriend. 
Well, who, how many of you in this room has an old girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, old girlfriend sitting beside you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not speaking about years. Amen. Your your former girlfriend, I should say. Just change it. Former former girlfriend. Okay. How many of you in this room, if you hear your former girlfriend say, I love you, just go away, amen? Just, just passing by, you'll just say, I love you, there's, there's no sense, amen? Hallelujah. But when the river of the Holy Ghost pours upon you, you always, there's no praise that, there's no other praise that comes out of your belly and of your mouth, but the praises of loving God, Amen? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The power of God will be upon us. You know, Acts 1 8 said, Acts 1 8, you know, that the disciples are, are trying to get something out of Jesus Christ. They are asking questions Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? But Jesus gave them. The most powerful answer, he said, it's not, it's not me, it's not you, but the power, you know, to know that. But he said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me first to Jerusalem, to Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. In this room, every person in this room are called to be witness of the resurrected recent king. Amen. But we can only uh, a true witness when the power of the Holy Spirit is upon us. You can testify. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the last time as I'm going to, I'm about to close, brother and sister. Don't worry. I'm going to come back here again next time. <laughs> thank, thank you, Lord. I can get over this. Speaking about the Holy Spirit, we need very badly, brothers and sisters, in these days we need the Holy Spirit. Because when the river flows upon you, the Holy Ghost always flow you what we call the peace. And the joy of God Almighty. Psalms 46 verse 4 said, there is a river. We sing that, Brother Joss. I hope we are going to find that song. Hallelujah. There's a river of life. Psalms 46 verse 4 said, There is a river which flows. Hallelujah. Into a river of joy. There is a river which streams make glad. Amen. There is a river. There is a river. Psalms 46 verse 4. There is a river that which whose streams make glad. There is a river flowing from the throne room of God into your heart, and it will make you glad. And you are, those who have children, your, your children will never call you mommy's mad, but they'll always call you. Mommy's always glad. You know why? Because you, you, you possess the river of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mommy and daddy will not, not say, oh, Mama is mad. But they always, thank God, Mom is glad. Good praise. Because of the river of the Holy Spirit. There is a river. Hallelujah. And in these days, brothers and sisters, to an update you about world events, there is what I call uncertainty in the air. We don't know what happened, what comes next. With this COVID and so many more world events going on, taking place in the whole world. It's not just in the U.S. So what we need, brothers and sisters, I would like to encourage all of us. And I would like us to be strengthened in the inward man. That what we call the river must keep flowing. Hallelujah. In order for the river to keep flowing, you must keep drinking. In order that you must keep drinking you must keep coming to jesus amen you must keep falling in love with him you must keep falling in love with god's word hallelujah because every every page of that word 
all the answers of every question. You know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not following our devotions, but I'm, I'm have my own Genesis to Revelation, and I found out all the answers. I just got found three answers. Why, why, when you are getting stronger in the Lord, the devil is getting stronger unto you. I found out in 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 Exodus chapter six, verse thirty. You know, thank you, Lord. Why, when, when. People, people are getting stronger in the Lord. Why there is always hardships? You know, you can find that all. And there's the, my question, why Christians in general don't preach? I found that also in, in, in Exodus chapter, chapter uh, 5. Hallelujah. Thank you. God's word, falling in love in God's word. Thank you, Lord. The rivers of living flowing within you. How many of you want to drink that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we all stand up? And brother, Abe, can you play the...